challenges of shooting large format is just simply carrying the gear around. And that's one of the reasons that Ansel Adams uh, often employed a mule. Now, I don't have access to a mule, but I now have a camera dactyl OG, and I don't know what the OG stands for. Anyway, this is a 3D printed 4x5 camera. It weighs in at 2 pounds 2 ounces, and that's with the film holder installed. It uh, is available, because it's 3D printed, they can print this uh, lens cone any length that you want. So I know they've done as short as 47 millimeter, and they can go at least as long as 150 millimeter, maybe a little longer. Now, I chose a 90 millimeter setup, mainly because I don't normally shoot 90 millimeter. Now, that may sound counterintuitive, but I had this lens laying around in the cabinet because the reason I don't shoot 90 millimeter very often is if I am composing on the ground glass, I find that I almost always want something longer than the 90 millimeter. However, for uh, landscapes and some casual portraits and just that hacking around uh, casual photography, the 90 millimeter actually fits my style pretty well. And the fact that you don't have a really uh, uh, sophisticated, very accurate viewfinder, the little extra um, uh, wide angle uh, is quite, uh, yeah, quite forgiving. Anyway, I made a few uh, mods to this after I got it. I added a metal insert here in the uh, tripod socket. This is a 3 8 to quarter inch adapter. Uh, you may have one in your junk drawer like I did, and that allows me to mount this to a standard tripod. I uh, also added a sophisticated focusing scale here on the front, just marked infinity in like 20, 20 feet, 10, 5, and 3 feet. Uh, for the zone focusing. Um, as far as the exposure goes, I have a, a app on my phone that actually works amazingly well uh, for something like this. I also added a really sophisticated camera strap uh, into the handy grip that uh, Ethan put on here. This makes it, the grip makes it really easy to handle and simply uh, reload, uh, quite simply. I also removed the locking knob uh, for the focus because the the way this is set up the friction on the helical is just right I really don't think I'm going to need the locking knob and you can adjust the uh, friction by tightening or loosening these screws on the front so this is a great camera for that casual hike or an evening walk uh, one of the places that I plan to use it is well we, we like to hike in the Castlewood Canyon State Park now the hike isn't that you know all that adventuresome, other than there are several places that to cross the creek you're going to have to jump from stone to stone, and to do that with a six-pound camera on your back is a little disconcerting at times. The besides, if I were to drop this in, into the water, other than having to clean the lens, I don't think it would hurt it any. Uh, dropping a wooden leather or you know more sophisticated camera uh, would, would kind of ruin your whole afternoon. Anyway, the OG lets you take the advantages of large format film, places that you normally wouldn't think of taking a large format camera.